let's not uh, overcomplicate this. It's really simple. It goes like this. You have a goal and you're here, from here to here, okay? So you're here, you imagine the goal. The goal should be plainly like simple thing that you can do for your life. The goal can be uh, short term, long term, it doesn't matter. It matters that you set up a goal. You set up something that you want to do. And so you're working on it, you're working on it, you're working on it. And the arrival point is over here. So you want to arrive there. In the moment that, I mean, you're working towards it, you're working, 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 working every day, every moment, every moment you're working towards it. In the moment that you doubt about it, in the moment that you doubt it, you cannot make it, or there are obstacles, there are these things happening around you, which make you doubt the point where you want to arrive at, in that moment, you need to be aware, really, really aware of it. Don't make a mistake, because don't fool yourself, because in that moment where you're not going towards your goal, in that moment, you're going somewhere around there. Because in the moment that you doubt, you're not going to make it, you make it, whatever, whatever doubts you have, in that moment, you're not going over there. You're going over here, sometimes you're going over there, sometimes you're going over here, sometimes you're going over there. So in that moment, when you're not focusing and working towards your goal, you're not going in a straight line to meet your goal. And that's basically what I want to say. So in each moment that you don't work towards your goal, in each second that you're doubting it, you're spending your time in a doubt of that, which will, in a like chain reaction create, in a reflection, it will create something else for you. So you need to understand that. And you need to understand what is prioritized for you. Are you prioritizing in that way, uh, like in the moment of doubt, are you prioritizing your goal or in the moment of doubt, are you prioritizing fear and some other stories? Because overall, like setting the goal, it's imaginary. You only have it. So it's something that uh, can benefit you, but it also can uh, mislead you depending uh, on what you want to do. But if you know that, that if you thought about something, if that something is realistic, what that realistic means is I mean, that you cannot go through walls and stuff. That something that you want to achieve for yourself, it can be a really simple thing. I don't want to go into that. But I noticed that for myself, whatever I set to be my goal, even that maybe you, you don't need to think about it all the time, but you know that each moment you're working towards it. I mean, each moment is not getting you away from it, rather maybe to see it that way. Because whatever I did in my life, I know why am I doing it and... I don't know never the outcome, but I know that sometimes of the things that you're doing, when you're passionate about something, usually the passion involves being passionate about expansion. So being passionate about things that drive you in the moment in which you are, and you know that the next moment will be something else, and the next moment will be something else. And maybe when you achieve the goal that you achieve, and that's usually what happens, is from point A to point B, when you arrive there, even if you're not distracted by your own thoughts and fears and whatever comes to the world, it still comes on to you to determine is this something that I need to have a fear about or is this something that will get me to, to where I want to go. And when you're there, it works, it works so, so beautiful because when you're there, when you're right there, then you see, oh my God, is this really what I need? Is this really what I wanted? And then you set another goal. And then you go like this. <laughs> and then, whoop, and another goal. And then you still are in the same position. It's like walking in the woods. It's like just walking. That's kind of how I see life. It's like you're walking in the woods. And you set up a goal. You see the beautiful hill over there. You say, okay. In the horizon over there, you see a hill and you'll be like, okay, it seems like a, like a beautiful view over there. You don't know what the view will be, but you see from this point that it might be a beautiful view for you. And then you continue to, to that hill. And as you're moving, 
you will see also other things opening on the side. And oh, maybe that's exactly what I want. I want a beautiful view. So, for example, I, I'm gonna go there. And maybe I'm gonna go to another direction, but this is the same goal. It's the same what you want, the desire that drives you to even start moving from the place where you are at. And once when you arrive there, in that peak of the experience, of the path, of the story, of the view, of the whatever, when you arrive there, then you will see like, wow, from this side, I'm a different person now. Because you're always a different, but when you completely flush out all the stories and you flush out all these things that you set for yourself, when you arrive them, when you achieve them, then you see that, did I really need this? And then the next goal that I'm going to set, I'm going to set it in a different way. But it's always going to be the same way that you will arrive at it. And, and I would like to say one thing that, that also like, um, motivational wise, that benefited me, that one, my friend told me one time that I didn't expect it. And it's a really nice thing to share that I will always f remember this. So, like some years ago, he just said like, you know, I'm the most selfish person in the world. And he said this after he achieved some of the things because I know him since the childhood and, and he achieved some of the things he wanted for his life and, and he was pretty happy about it. So he said, you know, I'm the most selfish person in the world because I always wanted the best things for myself. Always the best for myself. Because I knew that if I don't take what's best for myself, for me, for my life, if I don't focus on my life, nobody is going to come and give the best that I need to me directly in my hands. So it's something to understand. Because saying this doesn't mean that having something that you want steps on other people. I'm not talking about that. The things that that drives you are the things that that are only unique for yourself and for your needs and they don't include anybody else because it's it's about you setting things for yourself because nobody's gonna be in your brain and nobody can reach to your brain and know what you were surviving and what your struggles are what your fears are what your desires are what you really need, what your goals are. Nobody can know that. People can judge and and uh, assume based on their experience, based on how they know you, how they perceive you and stuff. But they don't never know what's in the backlog. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy your life and uh, enjoy your goals. Enjoy your expansion. Enjoy you. Without stories, you who create the stories, you who is the same as me, this being, this never ending, never expanding, never limited, but in another sense, limited by the universe, limited to this, to this human being that we call human being, but this live, live being, which is not a bug, but it has the same as the bug has, is the same as the tree has. This aliveness is this expansion, this creativity. So when you set your goals, you're just proving to yourself, if you're doubting about it, <laughs> that you are a creative being. You know it. And it's okay, it's fine. Maybe your goals suck ass in the long term for yourself, for your perception, but then set the better goals for yourself. Something that motivates you more. Something that you know, kicks you out and say like, oh my God, I really want to do this. I really believe in this. I really believe that this is for me based on understanding of my coincidence and what I passed through and la 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 la. And does this really motivate me? It motivates? Go ahead. Do the things that motivates you and expand. Is this going to be end of your search, end of your goals, end of your life? No. <laughs> It's just going to evolve 
And from that point, when you arrive there, from that point, you're gonna search something else and something else and something else. It's never gonna end. But it's always good to know that when you set something for yourself, nothing can stop you. Because in the moment that you're doubting, you're not going from here to here. The moment you're doubting, you're going somewhere else. And usually when you're guided by the fear, you don't know where you're going. <laughs> so, have a nice life.